Well, welcome to our very first videoed art class at the Redwoods. We're trying something new, and hopefully if it works, it will be the first art class of four, of very, using very basic shapes and having fun creating animals. My name is Elizabeth Merriman. I've been here, gosh, about nine years. Still like it, still having fun, and hoping that you will have fun even though you're, you, pretty much restricted to the campus. So let me tell you what we're gonna to do today. Today, we're gonna to make a bunny, and it's gonna be a toy bunny, using one of four shapes. And I'm gonna demonstrate it back here, standing up, and then you can follow along with the demonstration and then perhaps do more than one, because I'm gonna sit down and do it up close. So let me tell you what you'll need. Basically, really, all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil that has an eraser. That's the bottom line. However, over here are your other basic supplies. And that, that is, this is a big fat pencil I'm going to use so you can see it. But here's my pencil. I'm using a black pen, which has waterproof ink. You don't have to have it be waterproof, but it makes it easier. This is called a Uniball vision pen. Don't go out and buy one, but if you happen to have a pen that's black rather than blue, it'll show up better. Here's our pencil. Here's an eraser. So first we'll do pencil and we'll go over with pen and we're going to erase some of the underbody parts before we paint. So this happens to be a funny looking eraser. Here's the regular kind. This is called a kneaded eraser. It's great if you use it on watercolor paper because it lifts the lead without damaging the paper. And for those of us who have paints, when I taught in a basic watercolor journaling class, I had everybody invest in a, a Prang paint set. And this, is, this one has 16, but there's an eight color set that's very reasonable. You could find it on Amazon. And I also had them buy one brush. And this was a Princeton brush size eight. The brush does not, actually there is a brush that comes with this. It's very inexpensive and it'll do the job. So if you have paints, that's great. If you don't, we can still have fun. If you don't have paints, what we've done is we've ordered some crayons for those of you who have no color in your apartment at all. And there's a limited number of these. So if you have no crayons, no colored pencils, no colored chalk, nothing that has color, uh, contact the program's office and uh, come on over and get a set of basic crayons so you can remind yourself like you're in kindergarten again. All right, so, and I also have a, some water, and that's to clean my brush if I'm using this, and a paper towel. So you won't need the water, or if you're, if you're not using watercolors, you don't need some of these things. So there's our equipment. All right, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to ask you to take a piece of printer paper or whatever paper you have, and we're going to divide it into fourths. And I'm going to do it along, um, so that each section is long rather than in two, two, two squares. So I'm going to take it and fold it in half this way. Now I have two halves, right? Then I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to take each end and fold it again, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. This is a little bit trickier. And you can fold it the other way too. See, now I have, see, can you see the four ridges? I have like four sections that are up and down and skinny. You could do it the other way if you wanted to, just like you fold a paper napkin in half and then in half again. So. You want to come out with four sections. How they, whether they're long and tall or square, doesn't matter, all right? Now we've divided our paper into four sections and I, mine are kind of the skinny tall ones. And I've replicated this on this, these sheets so you can see them better. What I want you to do is draw four very basic shapes that are about the size of what a bunny's head would be. And this is a toy bunny, so it doesn't have to be looking real. Now you're going to pretend that this is a pencil that I can erase. <laughs> we're, we're not working with all the equipment we'd like today. 
So we're gonna start on our first bunny, and I, I call this first bunny kind of the bunny that <clears throat> I remember from the Velveteen Rabbit. And I got the, this idea online from a teacher named Nina Rycroft. So these aren't my ideas, but she had a lot of fun teaching us how to draw toy animals. And the Velveteen Rabbit was the one that she started with. So I'm gonna take my drop shape and I'm gonna think, what do rabbit's ears look like? They kind of go up to a point and come down. So I'm gonna make two ears. You go ahead and do that right now. Make an ear. And we're just gonna have our ears be pretty much the same and simple. Get the ears. The next thing we're gonna do is the nose. And the nose is just like a Y. You just put like a Y right there. And then the eyes, because we're looking straight on and you wouldn't see the whole rabbit's eye, you'd kind of see part of the eye because the nose would cover it a little bit. So we're going to make a half circle eye this way and a half circle eye this way. And then don't forget, this is a stuffed bunny, so we're going to pretend like he's sewn, and I'm going to make little dots, like a seam, so you can see he's sewn. All right, there, there we've got the head already. Maybe if I want to be really fancy, you can make the ears do that, but you don't have to. So there's the head, and we've got the eyes, and now we're going to make a U shape for a body. You know, you is just like this, but our you is going to be a little bit fatter. Okay, got that? A you. And this body, well, in this rabbit, the, the paws are just kind of hanging down like this. So we're going to make two paws. There's his paws. And you know, maybe he has little toenails. They're stitched. There's this pause. This isn't look as, looking as good as the one on my sheet of paper, so bear with me. The legs are too difficult. What you want to do is make, how, how can I describe this shape? You just go up for the leg, go down, and go out for the foot. Because he's kind of sitting, he's kind of sitting on the ground like this. And this leg's the same thing, up for the leg, out for the foot. I'm going to have the foot be a little more sideways. Look, okay, so maybe he has stitched toes too. So there you have, just in a very few shapes, your head, your ears, your nose, your paws, your feet and uh, legs. And that's a drop bunny. Okay, let's see. The next bunny we're going to do is the circle shape. Here's the circle. And um, this bunny is going to be standing up. And once again, I started with the, the circle. And I'm going to give the bunny two ears. One. And this, I'm going to be a little fancy and have the ear kind of go down a little bit. If, you, if that's too challenging, just make another ear just like this ear. So we've got his ears. This bunny is kind of sleepy. So I'm gonna put her eyes like this. Just like two upside down seeds. And then, see this Y? We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna do it a little bit higher. I'm gonna do it with little dots because I'm pretending like it's stitched. I don't know if you'll see that or not on the camera, but. And then with this bunny, she's going to be dressed eventually, um, but I'm going to just do her body in this video. And then when I sit down with a piece of paper where you can see up closer, we're going to dress her. Or maybe I'll dress her here and then you can see what I do, how I erase the body. So for, now I'm going to make a rectangle for her body. There's another basic shape. We're just working with basic shapes. A little rounded there, okay. And then she's gonna have long legs. Wow. There's the 
here are her legs. And here's one foot this way, one foot that way. So there are her, her, what's missing? The arms. Once again, because these are long and lean, we're gonna have two more long and lean arms. Okay, so we have the circle shape head and then kind of a leaf shape ear and then a draw a body mimicking the you know the U shape that we had in this other one, but her extremities were long and lean. And later on we're gonna come back and dress this one. Okay, let's go to the oval. We're gonna go a little faster now because each time you do the head, you do a couple things on the face, you do the body, you do the legs, and you do the arms. So this head is an oval. And uh, we're going to put, because it's a toy bunny, we're going to put buttons on his eyes. We can have a lot of fun with this. We're still going to do the nose, solid this time. We're going to do two pretty long ears. Then we had you know, like a, a teardrop and a circle. We're, now we're going to have more of a longer square body. Let's have it be about this long. And then because we're still working with uh, squares, so to speak, we're going to have two longer straight square-like legs and feet. Okay, what's missing? Oh, the leg arms. Two square arms. Okay, there's there's our oval shape. The nose was a triangle with a, just a stitching down here that we put button eyes. And uh, later on, you can dress this fellow and make him look more finished. But right now, we're going to leave him the way he is. And the last one is based on a square. So everything's going to be kind of square here. We're going to put two eyes, once again, a Y for the nose and the mouth, and we're going to have kind of long, squarish ears. This is going to be more like a hare than a bunny, tall. And the body's going to be tall. Once again, kind of squarish, except the bottom was a little rounded. So we did like a big narrow U instead of a fat U. We did a narrow U, and then out of the out of the body comes the legs, and we're gonna once again it's gonna be long. So we're gonna like this, kind of put one foot this way, one foot that way. Once again, we need to have long. Then I'm gonna maybe put a little hand on him. So there you have Mr. Square Barney. He's long and lean, and he's kind of like a, a, a hare. So that gives you in the large, uh, with a large instrument, how we're gonna do it. But we're gonna to switch to the table and set up the camera so that you can see me do it on the piece of paper like you've done it. So what I want you to do is take your piece of paper. I don't know if you've done all these, but if you haven't, why don't you stop the video and you can get these on your paper and then we're going to sit down and do the rest of them in color and in ink. So now we're going to take what is on our paper and go over it with ink. Now all of us have done pencil. My pencil is kind of heavier. I use that big fat pencil. Remember I showed you the big fat pencil. So my pencil is a little heavier. But um, we're going to start with this first fellow who is the Velveteen Rabbit. And the parts that I want us to see, I'm gonna cover with ink. So I, once again, I'm gonna start with the head, and I'm just gonna go with my ink. And I have black ink. That's why I suggest you have a black ink pen. Maybe you have a ballpoint, or any kind of pen will work. See how much better it shows up with the ink? I'm gonna go over here. There are his ears, 
And then, remember I said the eyes were not full circles, they're kind of half circles like D's because you can't see the entire eye when you look at him front ways. And his nose was an upside down Y. And then, this is the fun part, you can kind of do little stitching. Remember, he's a, a velveteen rabbit. He's a stuffed bunny. Bunnies can be any color you want them to because they're stuffed. They're not real. I'm going to give this bunny a little stitched paw. And then I'm going to trace his body, trace his leg, Once again, a little stitching for his toes. So there you have the ink. Now I'm gonna let the ink dry for a moment. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with my eraser, particularly if it's the one, we're gonna choose one to paint. And if it's the one you want to paint, or even if you wanna paint it later, I want to erase the whole thing, but these are great. These um, they're called kneadable erasers. So I'm just going to, I don't have to rub back and forth. I can just press like this. And I might tell you that I am using watercolor paper, so I'm not painting on printer paper. You could, but the paper's going to get a little bit wrinkled. So if you have paints, my, question, my guess is that you might have some kind of paper that you've already painted on. So there's number one, my teardrop bunny. Now we'll do number two. It's, you can see how you can start your basic animal with just a shape and then add clothes. I'm gonna to go to the square animal third and we'll end up with this one because this is the one we're gonna do bigger on another piece of paper. Okay, let's stop here and um, let give you a chance to catch up. So you have crayons, you have colored pencils, you might have colored chalk. I'm going to use paint just because it goes on where you can see it more easily, but it is possible. In fact, let me do the eggs with my crayons so you can know, like, I'm going to do the eggs different colored. All right, so I'm going to color the basket brown. It's like a wicker basket. And because she's a bunny, I'm going to color her um, fur brown. And I'm going to switch to paint now, so I can just show you how it works with paint. I, am, I do use watercolor paper, so that makes it easier. Let's see. I think I'm going to do her skirt kind of a fun teal. Ooh, that's really very luscious. Teal blue. When you paint, if, you, if you're not used to using a brush, you can see where I put the tip of the brush and then pull the brush backwards. So I, I always paint away from the edge, rather towards the edge, and that way I don't run over the edge. There's a a bajillion things to learn about watercolor painting. We're certainly not going to cover them in this lesson. Okay, let's see. Let's give her a nice bright yellow shirt. Once again, you see I put the tip and I pull it away from where I want to go. And I can't touch the blue because you know what will happen? Oops! That's what happens. It's called a happy accident. I'm doing this faster than I normally do it so that we can get this on the videotape. Normally I would wait for the paint to dry. But now she has a tie-dyed Peter Pan shirt. Let me just blot it with, you always bring a paper towel with you. I'll blot it and kind of cover it up a little more. Anyhow, so there's her shirt and um, we decided that she's kind of like a brown bunny, very pale brown. So I'm gonna put, 
Because it's ink. You see, this is waterproof ink. So I can do this. Let's see, the Mary Janes were black patent leather, and they're not very Eastery looking, but I'm gonna put black and because just because I remember the shiny patent leather that was so exciting to wear when I was like four years old, five years old, six years old. So there you have, and if the, if the let's see, let me try to put the buttons in with crayon. Oh good, she has blue buttons. So there she is, all painted. And what I would like to do is use a, like a very pale, I guess it's dry enough here. I'm gonna do a very pale pink for the inside of her ears. Now I'm gonna show you one that I did at home. And she has a, di oops, she has a different color scheme. But you can see I covered up the body parts before I inked. And then I used watercolor and gave her an outfit. So you can name her if you want to. You can go back and do each of the other three. We did four in all. And if you're very brave, I'd love to see your work. You can either take a picture of it. We're gonna have a handout come that has the supplies and it has my email address if you wanna email me a picture of your bunny. I'd love to see it. And thanks for coming and stay posted and we hope to do another creature next week. Bye.